The pitch it to Johnson. Tries the left side. Has some blocks and explodes for a big on first and 15. Fennick straight back, delivers a dart. It's a very short completion right near the line of scrimmage to Picks, if that's the case. Three receivers bunched to the right. The ball deflected at the line of scrimmage. Two on the play clock. They bring pressure. It's picked up at Penix. Again, the ball deflected at the line of scrimmage. A couple of trying to affect the communication, and then they end up bringing one with a little twist, and then they drop in coverage, and that little move. Dunze in motion. Hand off. And Johnson running hard picks up about seven. Coach Mike Leach. Empty backfield. Looping pressure got in the face. You play and then eventually see the pressure here come around. It's five on five, but the delay last play. Now here's a free play for Penix, and he'll just launch downfield. 50-50 ball. Oh, Dunze's got it. He knows he's got his hands full. This is a tough battle to the field. Odunze is as good as there is. The, the chemistry that he has, he gets away with a. Jalen Polk in motion. Penix pump fake. And now launches a dart down to the end zone. Caught! Touch! Right over top of the safeties. One on one with outside leverage. Look at the outside leverage by the corner. Just never has a chance without safety. Huskies down a point after the two point try. Dylan Johnson tries the middle. Jalen McMillan not. Nine. Buck show pressure. Penix gets the ball to the edge quickly. And that's Jalen Polk. Gets a block from his buddies and sprints down the sideline. Off there to got him to the edge. Get the ball out quickly. It's got numbers. There's the block right there. What a good job of being. 18 yard pickup. Penix back pedals and incomplete. Polk. Johnson. Makes a cut, lowers the head, barrels for a first. Right guard and a right tackle. Good job, the timing here. Oregon loses the edge to their defense, and Dylan Johnson doesn't get talked about at all. For the Huskies. Penix straight back, pressure off the edge, and the catch is made. They hand it to him, quick penetration. He did well to avoid a tackle. For Bucks creeping up, don't show pressure. Penix delivers a throw, and Jackson makes the catch and works his way. It's from the boundary from the corner, Kyrie Jackson right here, but he's able to get the ball out, not to mention it's picked up, and this is it. When you defend these kind of deals. Final minute in this first quarter. Pressure picked up again, launching for the end zone, caught, touchdown! Jay and the Jalen Polk is fourth touch of the season. Yeah, when they're stacked, a lot of times you think about Jackson zero, but instead it's the front man. It's Polk who gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And we thought Kyrie... Of their last two possessions. Polk who caught the touchdowns in motion, they handed off inside and wrestled down. Ready. Pressure picked up. Long throw just... Don't do it this time. In the pocket, a dart across the middle. Odunze has got it, and he's got it. You get there. If not, look at the opening. Good job. Picked up nicely. Give him enough time. And again, with that. Odunze goes in motion. It's a first down carry for Johnson. And he runs through some arms. Their experience and a talented receiver. It's tough to stop this offense. They throw into the bunch, and that's Odunze. Makes the catch. Skips free. Spins back into Oregon territory. Stressing the defense. It is. And it's it's the, the trips kind of that stacked bunch look. And here's the problem. If you press them, we've seen what Penix and his receivers will do. The NFL scouts watching this game today, by the way. Penix. He's uh, the focus of some of those scouts. Millen fired up. We believe that his afternoon is done. They'll have to make do without number 11. And handing off from the left side, Dylan Johnson showing some leg drive and some strong first halves. And the play fake, end around. Jeremy Bernard looking to throw and delivers a high throw. Wow. I mean, what, what is it, the air here in Seattle? I mean, <laughs> not only Penix is throwing dimes, look at this. It's a tough throw on the run by a receiver. First down from the 23, play clock at three. Hand it off inside, and Johnson. Just fast stuff. They had a big package in, so good job by Jeremy. Great point. Johnson knocked down. Again. Penix from the pocket. Has time, checks it down. Out of the backfield is Johnson. Spins free, still alive, and finally gang tackle. Johnson, good patience. 
Johnson has it, tries to get to the edge, and he will score diving to the... Dunze in motion, they pitch it into Jack Westover, and the... Penix, batted down again, they've gotten hands on the football. Get in. Uyangalale got his hand on that one. Penix from the pocket, slings it in the slot. And it's Giles Jackson who Already, but with McMillan not playing, it's great to see him playing. Penix on the move, just flips it to the badge. A little confusion. Oh. They're going to throw for it. Penix, low throw. Did he get it? Penix steps up, and as he escapes, he's going to foul. So the location's going to be the same. The difference is going to be if you go with the grounding, you've also got, because we're under a minute. Ten-second run on ten. Let's see, but he's got dialed up here. Ducks rush four. Penix sideline run. Intercept. Very efficient when not pressured. On the run. And off to Dylan. They're outnumbered at the line of scrimmage. Pick up six. Johnson's got it again. He's got a first down. Stutter steps right to mid spot. He split out to the left here on first down. Penix has it. Tates tries to throw a back shoulder throw. There's an here with some of these pass interference calls, but you're a safety downfield one on one. He never gets his head turned around and, and definitely Bennett gave up the game winning touchdown. Game time touchdown, I should say. Adunze in backups stepping in. Huskies with the first down. Johnson on the right side, knocked down. He's starting corners out. Will Nixon around the corner, running hard. He's going to get made. Read the backup star, kind of sliding to a different position here as Penix lost for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown. Third line. Penix looking to throw from his end zone, launching downfield. Odunze couldn't quite get it. Jackson went out, so we saw Manning come in and read. Now Jackson's back in the lineup, and they go to Bridges, who's got great length himself. Penix on second and ten, pressured, gets it off, and that's Jackfield. Four-man rush. Penix has time. Long throw over the head of uh, oh. So Penix expecting those backers to come. They end up dropping out. Soft zone. And all he could do is throw that ball away. So the cat and mouse game. A strong in the department here in Seattle. Pressure off the edge. Gets it out. That's a smart quarterback, right? Dylan. Second down. Penix launching downfield. Another one of those 50-50. You talk about a tough assignment for any corner in the country. You're going to come in because the starting corner, Florence, is out. He's. Polk motions across. Penix has plenty of time, slings it incomplete. I think he wanted to get the ball to Polk, who's in motion, who's going against that safety. You see how he looks right, but there's nobody open. Tight coverage. On the edge, Johnson strung out and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Do a better job of keeping the edge to the defense and flying to the football. Jeffrey Bassa, who's the leader, see how quickly he reacted, takes on that big offensive lineman, and then the rest of the defense is able to... Play fake. Penix looking downfield, fires across the middle, and the catch is made by J. Tight, tight, you'll see a receiver go here, watch the backer clear out with him. And when you clear those linebackers out, Look at that throwing lane, and again, he's throwing darts back there. Johnson patiently picks his way to the edge, takes the fanciest dresser on the team. He wants to have a career in fashion when he's done with football. Penix delivers a throw. The Ducks had the ball the last time. Pressure again. Hit as he throws, but the catch is made for a first down, and Polk. Clutch, Penix. Yeah, and they brought both the backers and then dropped one and then off to the left right as he releases them for that first down. This is Penix showing some toughness. Simon to four-man rush, launching to the edge, and once again, it's brilliant. Yeah, they keep going after the corner who's who's in there for Florence. It, it, you know, it almost looks like he's not under center today. And they pitch it to Johnson, who makes a cut. And couldn't quite get the edge. 
Well, Dunze goes in motion, and he's muscled up. Look who follows him, not a corner. Safety comes down. Look who where he wants to go right away. Just doesn't have any room to work. Six on third. Morris, he and DeBoer have a decision to make. Penix from the pocket, lofting to the end zone. Over the outs. Pressure comes. Penix delivers. Caught. First down and goal. In the lead. Johnson picks his way, takes a shot, leans. It's a wildcat look. It is him getting the direct snap, but they're ready for Johnson. He'll lead their side by side with him. Right here, look at this penetration, able to shoot through those gaps. So one thing. The tight end is in the backfield. Hope in motion. Johnson on the pitch. Makes a cut, fights, takes a shot, reaches. He Rodgers has it, but he stops short. Down. Look at the blocks down here. Frees up the backer to be able to come off behind those blocks and make that play in the hole. To Penix backpedals. Goes right downfield and in traffic. It's Paul. Got over late. Watch this safety right here. Just a little bit late in reacting. Evan Williams. Just enough for him to sneak that in as Williams got over late. Launching for the end zone. Forget being patient. Here, Evan Williams, all the action goes right. He takes a couple steps to his left, and that's just a quarterback trusting one of the best.